decides to move during a pandemic? I don't know. Crazy people. <music> Welcome back to my channel, Teacherish. I'm Kia. I'm a first year kindergarten teacher, and today's video is going to be like a mini apartment tour slash what it's like to be a teacher in Illinois and what's the pay like and all of those good things. So I had every intention of vlogging us moving into our new apartment, but it was so hectic and it was so crazy and I picked up the camera for like maybe a minute. Um, and then things just got out of hand. And um, who decides to move during a pandemic? I don't know, crazy people. So anyways, it was very difficult to move. We had a moving truck, we had some little boxes. We live on the third floor, so there's like three flights of stairs. It was just a mess. It was a mess, it was hard. Um, but finally, we got everything moved in. We're here, we're here, I'm so happy. Um, my girlfriend and I, have been together for three years and I have been nagging her to move out and move in with me and we finally did so we're finally in our own place and I'm so excited about that um so yeah I had every intention of vlogging the move process but it was just so crazy that I'm sorry I wasn't able to do that so I decided to do like a mini apartment tour I guess um disclaimer do not and I repeat do not come for me do not come for me about this apartment y'all because um moving during a pandemic is hard especially when you're trying to buy furniture all the furniture stores are closed it's hard to buy things online because it takes forever to ship so we had every intention of having our apartment fully furnished um by the time we moved in but girl um these places are playing with us so like our bed set um like all the furniture for the living room furniture for the dining room was supposed to come in but it's taking weeks for it to get here so we are struggle busing right now like seriously struggle busing so do not come for me about anything that you see that is struggle bus because it's coming guys it's coming it's just gonna take a while because of the pandemic and because of everything so it's a little disappointing but whatever i decided to do a mini apartment tour anyways but don't come for me entryway when you come in you see these our living room our living room is my favorite room in the house because it has these big old beautiful lights um right now we put the cat tower here but that cat tower is not gonna stay there we're probably gonna put some benches here and do like a cute little reading nook this is like my favorite room in our apartment because it's so bright and then And then so you come this way, and this is Q's office. I don't want to go in there because it's just boxes. Like I said, y'all, do not come for me because have you ever tried to move during a pandemic? It's hard. <laughs> so here's our bedroom. Like I said, do not come for me. Where those uh, pull-out thingies are, we're going to put our dresser. We ordered the dresser, but it's not going to get here for another week or two. Um, we got a new mattress, one of those. It's a lucid dream mattress. It's like a mattress in a box. It's very comfortable. Yes, we're sleeping on the floor. Do not come for me. Do not come for me, okay, guys? But anyways, they've got pretty windows. Eventually, we're going to get some curtains to put up because, you know, privacy. And then you come down this hall. This is the bathroom, but Q's taking a shower, so I'm going to go in there right now. But here's our kitchen. Our kitchen is also one of my favorite places in the house because it's so big and it's bright and yeah. And then we have like this dining area, but as you can see, it's kind of just like storage and cat because of the kitties. Um, so we're just using it for storage right now. 
until we get like a dining room set. What else have we got? Nice big window. Our back door, there's like a, there's a, it's a porch back there, but there's garbage on the porch. So there's a porch, but we have to take that garbage downstairs. It's not that cute. So yeah, this is the kitchen. It's so spacious and big. I'm so happy about the kitchen because our kitchen in my little apartment was so freaking tiny. <laughs> it was so small. So yeah, it's very cute. And then over here, we have my office. There's like boxes and if you guys want to know a fun fact about me, I collect uh, katanas or people call them samurai swords. So <laughs> that's a random fact about me. And then this is my office. I still have a lot to unpack and put away. I brought this desk and my vanity with me from my old apartment. And then we have this random one and a half bath. So yeah, it's cute. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, this is also my storage. I put all my school stuff, but it's a mess. Okay, so Q is out of the bathroom. So this is our bathroom. I'm actually really in love with this bathroom. We're ordering a sh uh, shower curtain to come. So we'll put a shower curtain up there. But this is our bathroom. And then there's trunk. <laughs> We're getting it like a storage thing to go right here. But yeah, the bathroom is one of my favorite things about this apartment. So yeah. So that was my apartment. Um, like I said, this has been like a long time in the in the making of us moving out. So I'm just so happy and grateful to be able to have done it. And it's just really exciting to have your own place. Like you pay for it, you did everything for it, you picked it out, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, it's a really exciting time. Um, here's your teacher, you're broke, you just got out of school, you don't have any money, probably don't have any savings because of college. So I wanted to do a video on how it is to be a teacher in Illinois um, financially. Um, I just want to be transparent and answer some questions that I always get about how much teachers make and do you get paid during the summers and is it are you able to live comfortably on a teacher salary? Um, so the first question is, how much do you make? So as a teacher in Illinois, how much you make really depends on the district. Illinois is one of those states that it's very divided. Like the, the districts are very divided between the disparity between like wealthy and um, low socioeconomic status. Um, it's a big range. So I know some first year teachers who are making 35, 37,000. I know some first year teachers who are making 40, 49, almost $50,000 in their first year. Um, so it really just depends on the district and the area that you teach in. If you work for CPS, you're going to make more, um, but you're probably going to get less resources um, like provided for you. If you work in the suburbs, you're probably going to make a little bit less, but the school provides more for you in terms of teacher resources and things like that. So it really just depends on where you want to live in Illinois. If you live closer to the city, um, the teacher salary goes up a little bit more. Um, if you work for CPS, the teacher salary starting point is a little bit higher. It's probably way higher than the ones in the suburbs. But there's so many factors into determining the salary and if the district is a good fit for you. So um, it really just depends on how much you want to make and where you want to live and all those kinds of things and what you care about. Like, do you care about making more money or do you care about the school providing for you more? <clears throat> so it really just depends in Illinois. Um, I work on this in the south suburbs of Chicago. Um, I do not work for CPS, but um, I work in the district in the south suburbs, and I started at forty-two thousand, and um, it was two thousand of it went to like retirement. So I really started with forty thousand. So my salary for my first year teaching was forty thousand dollars. Now um, you can like. If you're curious about how much you're gonna make as a first year teacher, every single district in Illinois, and I think in the 
United States, every single district has to provide their union contract online for the community and the teachers to see. So what I did was I looked up, you can always look up the um, salary in your district, they'll tell you. And most of it, it's on a step scale. So you start as a first year teacher, you might start with a certain uh, salary and then each year it'll probably go up by a certain amount of money. So um, that's how I found out how much I was gonna make before I got hired and before I applied to the districts that I was interested in working in. So this is not something that's like, oh, I'm telling you all the secrets or whatever. You can literally go look this stuff up. Any school that you wanna work at, you can go look up the salary, okay? So <clears throat> the second question about being a teacher in Illinois is the cost of living. The cost of living in Illinois is ridiculous. It's pretty, it's pretty high. It's not as bad as like New York or California, but it's pretty steep. Um, like a two bedroom apartment in Chicago is probably gonna cost you about 14 or $1,500 a month. And that's just like the honest truth of it. Um, especially depending on where you live, like where you want to live. If you want to live up north, or you want to live further south. Um, but overall, Illinois does have a very high cost of living. So maybe that's something you want to factor in when you're looking for a job. Do you want to have a higher salary, but then you have a higher cost of living? Or do you want to have a lower salary? Um, in the suburbs, that's even high cost of living as well. Um, I know this for renting, for buying a house. Um, it also depends on where you live in Illinois. Illinois is very segregated. It's a very like, I don't know, like just, it really just depends on the area. Like some places are really high in mortgage, some places are really low, some places are really high in rent, some places are medium for the most part, but um, the cost of li living in Illinois is pretty high. Comfortably on the teacher salary in Illinois. Short answer, yes, but it depends on what you think comfortably is. Um, you can live comfortably if you budget your money um, and you save and you spend your money wisely, I guess. Um, I can say that on my salary, I can live comfortably. I can pay my rent and pay my car notes and pretty comfortably. Um, I can take care of bills and I can also save and splurge a little bit. But for the most part, it's really about budgeting how you budget your money. And this is something that I'm still working on. I'm not very good with budgeting my money. <laughs> Luckily, I'm, my partner is very good at budgeting and saving and all that stuff. And so I'm learning from her, but um, yeah, I'm not very good at it. <clears throat> but I wanna get better at that. Can you look comfortably on a teacher salary? Yes, but it depends on what you think is comfortable. And if you are good at budgeting your money, let's just be honest, truth, you gotta budget, budget. Do I spend on school supplies for my classroom? I'm a first year teacher, so I probably spend way more than I should be on materials and things like that. One, because I started off with nothing, um, being a first year teacher, so um, yeah. I didn't really have a big library or a big um, teacher resources, so I probably sit way more than I sh should on my classroom, but I'm working on it. Um, also my school, this is another thing that you wanna look into for your district. Does your district provide you guys with a stipend or um, resources for your classroom every year? Now my district does, we put in a requisition order at the end of the year and we get whatever supplies we ordered in the fall. Um, but we, just because we order something does not mean that we're necessarily always gonna get what we order. Sometimes the district thinks if it's too expensive or whatever, they'll just say we can't afford this right now. But for the most part, um, school supplies, pencils, crayons, highlighters, markers, paper, all the necessary things for the kids, they supply that. And then our teacher resources, we get all of the curriculum, all of the books, um, laptops for the kids, and we get a teacher laptop and all of those things. So my school does actually a pretty good job at providing those things, but we don't always get necessarily everything. So sometimes I do have to come out of my pocket. And also for those specific things that I want specifically for my class, I have to come out of pocket for like flexible seating or um, like cutesy little decorations for my classroom, I have to come up out of my pocket for that. 
Which brings me to a point, I am so sad that all of the thrift stores are closed. I'm so sad because I was really about to be in my thrifting bag and I was going to get some little pillows and rugs, some cute little couches for my classroom from the thrift store. That's probably not going to happen and I'm probably going to have to pay out of pocket for new stuff, which I'm so sad about. I'm just so sad about that. like three of them in like in a row like a bird like a bird bee it was three of them in a row and they're like Psh. oh how do i budget okay i don't <laughs> that's not true we do budget so before me and my girlfriend moved in we had to sit down and um basically create a budget for our how much we wanted to spend a month for our apartment um how much we wanted to spend on food gas electricity all that stuff so we really planned it out before we moved out um so basically we just budget monthly um we set aside our money for rent and all those other things um some tips uh the, some tips that i have for budgeting would be to um little cash envelopes so you don't have to go buy a bunch of envelopes you could if you want to or you can make envelopes, but get the cash envelopes and set aside cash, 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 cash. Set aside cash for everything that you want to buy. So you can have a cash envelope for food, a cash envelope for going out, a cash envelope for rent, all that stuff, and divvy up your money into those envelopes. And so when you're going out, take the going out envelope and go out. And once you run out of money, that's it, right? I feel like when you have a debit card, you can just swipe, 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 swipe and you just forget about it like you're not thinking but when you have cash like once that cash is gone like that's it so i recommend the cash envelopes it's something that i'm gonna start doing and um I, maybe i'll leave i'll link um there's there's an instagram that i follow her name is i don't know what her name is but her instagram handle is make real sense and she she put on her page the cash envelopes and I thought it was a really good idea. And she's also a budget wizard. So I would recommend go checking her out. I'll link her Instagram down below. Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions about being a teacher in Illinois, you can message me or leave a comment down below. Um, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos, please like, comment, and subscribe, please. And yeah.